A lot of tripods get damaged because people don't take the time to learn how to make the adjustments. They end up forcing it. You see a lot of tripods get damaged that way. This particular tripod has a fluid head, which is made for video. This is the pan adjustment for horizontal movement. You'll see if you loosen it just enough, you can get a gradual or smooth uh, motion depending on what exactly you want for the movement you're doing. And then you can tighten it up all the way if you don't want it to move. On the side of the tripod, you'll see a large knob, which is for the tilt function. These knobs are loosened slightly to allow motion and tightened to hold in place. One of the great features of this tripod is the ball joint. What that does is allows you to um, level the whole camera without having to level it with the legs. There's a center extension down in the middle. You loosen it there and it's super quick um, no matter what your legs are set at. Once the tripod is at its maximum height or if you're in a situation where you need a quick adjustment, the center column also has height adjustment. You'll see another knob next to the tripod plate. And if you loosen that, it allows you to slide the plate back and forth. You can now push down on it and remove the plate. It's important that the plate is facing the correct way and you'll see underneath that it's marked with an arrow and lens to tell you which is the front of the plate and to how to line it up with your camera. It also is cut slightly different at the front compared to the back. In with your tripod, there are three small pieces. They're used to connect the plate to the bottom of your camera. This slotted screw is a very important piece. Without it, your tripod won't function. Two or three turns that it's on the plate and it can slide back and forth for the best fit on your camera. The other piece is a socket that will be needed for some video cameras. Using that socket on the NX100 allows for this placement of the tripod plate and use of that first pin which keeps the plate from rotating. Placing the plate towards the back of the camera will make the camera a little front heavy on the tripod. I personally actually prefer to keep the plate a little more towards the lens. In this case on the NX100 you can actually use either of the threads. As long as that screw is tight on the camera and you use a flathead or a coin, once you mount the camera on the tripod, the size of the battery, the size of the lens, any attachments you have, microphones, anything like that will um, dictate where the camera sits on the tripod. Balancing it is an adjustment of the plate to get to a desired balance for the camera. This tripod of course works with other camera styles as well. Um, you'll want to make sure that the lens is still facing the correct way for the plate, which will allow you the proper range of motion on the tripod. We saw earlier with the plate that it actually lifts out of the tripod. Um, so it's important to remember when you're putting the camera in that it actually clicks in and goes in side to side. It's tempting for people to try and uh, slide it in because the plate already slides in the tripod. Um, so that uh, is not unusual and actually quite common that people would try to jam it in and not understand why it doesn't quite fit. If you look again on one side, it will um, slip in underneath and then click in. Once you click it in, if you don't tighten it all the way, it allows you to slide it back and forth. The nice thing is if you put it in properly, it actually can't slide off. There's two little knobs on each side of the tripod that protect the camera from sliding off. It is actually possible to slide the front of the plate into the back of the tripod, get it up to a certain point and tighten up the um, clip. And now it seems like it's great and it's in tight. Then if somebody loosens this to try and make a movement or anything, um, the tripod will just release the plate. And um, if the weight of the camera is on it, it just ends up on the floor. So it's important to make sure that uh, people understand how to load the clip and don't force it in from the front or back. In your bag, you'll see an arm, which will attach on either side of the tripod, depending on how you use the camera and maybe if you're right or left-handed. Spreading apart the tripod legs, they will stop at a particular point. Pulling down on the clip while you pull out on the leg will allow extra range of motion. 
The purpose of this is situations or terrain where you may not be able to set your tripod up in a traditional fashion and you may need to straddle, maybe it's a river, some rock, or this allows for shooting at lower angles. There's also this loose piece. It's actually a wrench and that will tighten the joints and clips on your tripod if they become loose over time. When taking a tripod down, it's always best to remove the camera, of course, um, and there's a nice feature in the design of these legs for speed that you can do up both clips with one hand. When packing up a tripod, a lot of people will pull down on an arm to make it fit into a bag. For packing, you actually want to loosen the arm and let it fall down next to the tripod, or you can remove it altogether. 